Hi, I'm Sequoia Miller, Chief Curator of the Gardner Museum, and I'm here to talk about a work in our permanent collection, Brendan Tang's Manga or Malu 4.0-0. So what are we looking at? It's a ceramic and mixed media sculpture that stands at about 18 inches high. It looks like a Chinese blue and white porcelain vase standing on a wooden stand, but it's been surrounded by these orange, almost donut shaped little kind of bots that are connected to each other by the cables that you see hanging down near the base. It combines the historical and the futuristic in a really unusual way. This piece was made by artist Brendan Lee Satish Tang, who's based in Vancouver, BC. Brendan works principally in ceramic, but also sometimes in other media. He made this work in 2012, and it was featured in an exhibition at The Gardener titled Breaking Boundaries, Four Young Canadians Reimagine Ceramic Art. In the years since the exhibition, Brandon has emerged as one of the leading voices in the field. Manga is the term for Japanese comic books and graphic novels. Its animated form is known as anime. Manga and anime are bold and futuristic, with bright colors, strong shapes, and a high-tech gloss to everyday forms. Brendan has written about his love for manga and anime, especially as a teenager growing up on Vancouver Island. Ormalu is the term for gilded mounts that are applied to porcelain forms. The practice started in Europe in the 14th and 15th century, as porcelain from China and later Japan started to enter the European market. At first, imported porcelain was extremely valuable, and the mounts helped to set the objects off and show how special and important they were. Applying gilded mounts to porcelain and other objects continued into the 19th century. So conceptually, I removed those gold filigree and all that ornate stuff and replaced it with robots and manga and sci-fi references that I've, I'm really interested in and I think as a culture we're also very interested in. The sculpture then is really a mashup of the historical and the futuristic. The part that looks like traditional ceramics is based on a vase from the Ming Dynasty, so probably the 1500s or 1600s. These were just the kinds of objects that started coming into Europe in greater and greater quantities and would sometimes receive these gold mounts. Looking at this historical example next to Brendan Tang's sculpture, we can see that he used it as direct inspiration for his work. Brendan shared with us a sketch that he made while he was designing this piece. You can see in Brendan's sketch that he is taking the original form and adapting it to his idea, both in terms of shape and in terms of pattern. We can also see how the manga forms are starting to distort the shape of the vase so that it's not just a regular form, but it's being squeezed and pressed by the technology. The musician that we see on the original vase also shows up on Brendan's vase from 500 years later. Tang was born in Dublin, Ireland, of mixed Chinese, Trinidadian, and Indian descent. In the artwork, the Chinese-style vase seems to stand in for a part of the artist's identity, the part that derives from his ancestry or his family. The manga aspect suggests gamer culture from the 1980s and 1990s, when Tang was an adolescent. In a sense, he's mashed together part of what he was born with with part of what he imagines himself to become. It's the past and the future combined in the present. More broadly, this piece raises questions about globalization and the flows of commodities and visual culture. The work also points to the ways that elite and popular culture get unified in the digital age, both existing on the same plane. In this one work, Brendan Tang has created something that speaks very personally to his own experience in the world, while also resonating with many of the questions that we all try to navigate. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun learning about Brendan Tang's work. 